All right, guys, Rich here from the rcnetwork.com, and up in front of you is another episode of Tool Tuesday. Now, this episode is specially dedicated to Too Quick For You 104. I want everyone in the comments section below to comment on why Too Quick For You 104 wants this EDS review done. Well, guys, uh, this is the EDS arm reamer set and in this video I'm going to show you kind of what you get in the package here and also uh, what these arm reamers are actually for. Now this is my first set of arm reamers so uh, I picked these up specifically for most one tenth scale and one eighth scale vehicles. Of course they're not going to fit everything on the planet. I checked one just recently and it didn't fit so um, this includes a 3.0, a 3.5 and a 4.0 arm reamer set so very affordably priced you know i think this thing was around 30 33 bucks or so um so very well priced uh, of course there's other ones out there by huddy and some other manufacturers but this one seemed to be very good quality and of course i needed to get an eds review for you guys so Right here, this is a quick model number. Now, they not only had the three uh, kit version, but they also had a four kit version, which I didn't think I really needed a 2.5 version. So this is the 3.0, 3.5, and 4.0, 120 millimeter length uh, shafts there. So should be pretty good and pretty much used for anything, like I said, one tenth scale or one eighth scale will work. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open. Let's see what we get in the package. Of course, we're already seeing three tools, which is always nice. A little nice little addition here at the RC Network to add some good quality tools. Of course, from Team EDS. These things all come hermetically sealed in their own little envelopes. And what's really nice is you get a little sticker sheet right inside uh, with some Team EDS Specialized RC Tool stickers. Nice. Put that off to the side. So right here immediately, and let me go ahead and crack this thing open. It looks like they're hermetically sealed. There we go. And I'm pulling out, I think this is the four millimeter. So right here, these are uh, all aluminum handles. These have a very nice finish to them. They're not that typical sandpaper, you know, knurled uh, finish. So fits, fits nicely in the hand. A um, little bit small handle and do have uh, aluminum caps here on the bottom. Looks like they're they're held in with a rubber O-ring of, of some sort, but hollowed out handles. You do have a, a large set screw right there, so if you need to tighten that down, uh, definitely do so. But basically what an arm reamer for is you see little cuts and notches in here, and it's almost like a cheese grater uh, effect. So uh, what this is intended for, and I know this is completely wrong, this is a four millimeter, and this is definitely a three millimeter wrench, but it's what I have open. This basically goes inside here, reams out uh, the center section uh, where the hinge pin rides. And let's say you're, you have two tasks ahead of you. One, you're building a new car and you wanna have absolutely zero resistance on your uh, arms. A lot of times arms can be, um, you know, they're, they're basically injection molded or from a some sort of mold and you just wanna get them freely uh, floating on those hinge pins. So you wanna use the arm reamer, go inside there, ream it out a couple bits and pretty much you have a free floating arm. Now, another use for this tool is, let's say that you're at the track, you break an arm, you already have a, a perfectly fitting arm. Now you have a brand new arm you have to install. You wanna go ahead and ream that out. Make sure it matches the same uh, low resistance as the opposite arm. Never want to uh, uh, put a new arm on without reaming out uh, that uh, hinge pin hole. So right here we have the full set uh, 4.0. 3.5, 3.0. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned what an arm reamer does. Uh, I definitely appreciate these things. I'm gonna be using these going forward here at the RC Network. Well guys, that's it for now. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post it on down below. Don't forget to comment to Too Quick For You 104. Uh, leave a comment for him as well. That's it for now guys, over and out.